I've never been the type of person that has been interested in setting goals. Uh, I don't know what about it. Is it just, uh, it, it just seems like there have always been things that I'm always kind of interested in and these don't necessarily manifest themselves with in the calendar year. Uh, like for instance, I usually will have a goal to do something that starts before December uh, and I'll start working towards it before then. And so usually if I have a goal, I'll you know set it before that time and uh, go for it from there. However, uh, starting a new decade, starting 2020, uh, the first one I'm really starting as uh, an adult, uh, as to say, and I was talking about this with a group of friends uh, the other day, and one of them even said something like, this is going to be the first decade that we're going to have complete full memory of. And I found that amazing that they were like, yeah, I don't even really remember 9-11. And, it, and it's just like, what the hell? How do you guys not remember 9-11? And so it, it's just, uh, it's a little strange to me. Uh, I think that's the little bit too far on the other end of the spectrum of uh, where we're at. But uh, decades have never um, been a part of my life. It's never been uh, a part of my conscious uh, adult life. Because like we said, 2000 was, you know... Well, I guess a decade, so 20, uh, 2010, um, w wait, what the hell, why was, what kind of idiot people were I hanging out with talking about, we're going into 2020 and they're talking about not remembering, oh, I guess because it's the end of that decade, I see what they're saying, that t 2010 to 2020 though, we all remember 2010 to 2020, I don't know what the hell they were talking about, um, but uh, this is going to be, okay, so this whole video seems to be null and void now. Um, but I guess the point remains uh, being that this uh, decade is coming at a very transitional point in my life, being that 2020 um, is one of, is, is actually going to be the first full year that I will be uh, a, an air quotes adult here, as in the sense that I've graduated college. Uh, in 2019, I graduated college, so uh, starting 2020, I will be full adult, not just considered a student or whatever uh, the consideration would be. Uh, so that's 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 what's the the dichotomy there. I'm not. Uh, no one else is responsible for me. I'm not responsible just for getting schoolwork done. Like if when you're a kid, all you have to do is make sure your schoolwork gets done and everything will be okay. But uh, now I'm starting to to want to set larger goals, have bigger ambitions than just uh, get my schoolwork done so that everything can be okay. And uh, I, I think that that might be part of it, but I'm having a, an easy time setting short-term goals, uh, workout goals, um, athletic goals, cycling goals, uh, gaming goals, uh, YouTube goals, things like that. It's easy for me to set those for the year. It's easy for me to set those for very short-term goals, but it's I'm having a much harder time thinking about these long-term goals or even more of a broader question in the, in the sense of what do I want my life to be? Because now is a great time to set that up. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you know, just transitioning out of school, going into you know full adulthood. If you want to, if retiring early is something that you want to achieve, you have to start working early on that. Uh, it's not like anyone can just retire early at any given point in time. So there are some goals that you know you have to kind of decide if you want to do those early or not. Uh, I think my goal, I'm more interested in seeing uh, and experiencing the world. Uh, I'm, a, I'm way more interested in having to work, uh, you know, if I, if I, I would rather work th nine months out of the year. Uh, and have three months of just traveling uh, for, and do that my entire life than have uh, 40 years where I spend, you know, 45 years where I just spend in the workforce. That sounds uh, miserable. And then to have the last, the remainder of my life. Uh, to be as I choose. I would much rather have the, the experience in my youth. I would much rather have it 
uh, in uh, my age. I would much rather uh, see the experience go through throughout my life. So these are the kinds of uh, kinds of things I'm thinking about. I'll probably update uh, the channel as I go, as they change, because that's kind of what this uh, is a perfect uh, vessel for for me to talk, kind of talk these things out. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. If you're interesting, if you're interesting, if you're interested, subscribe for more, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.